Good and welcome. My name is Amarenske and this is Neurons episode 3 in where I talk about the ADHD challenges I face. So I'll make this I think a quick video because I don't really want to make this video 30 minutes long. I have my list of challenges that I face here so let's get started. Challenge one is I have a lot of concentration issues and when I was younger I always thought it was the autism spectrum disorder side of things that cause those concentration issues because that causes you to have a hard time to concentrate on things you don't find interesting as does ADHD but it, it is somewhat different because when you have ADHD even if you find something interesting and really want to do something, you still have trouble focusing on it. And that is what happened to me. And I noticed personally that my focusing problems get more intense when I have had to deal with a lot of input from either social interaction or flashing lights or just some stuff that is very intense. In the end, I am not able to concentrate at all anymore on anything. Not even things I find interesting. And with that also comes that when I focus and I can end up in a hyper focus, I have a general lack uh, in my sense of time. I have trouble most of the time feeling like how long stuff takes. When I went to secondary school, I used to compare the time stuff took me to if I biked to school, if it took, if I biked on a normal speed, it took three quarters of an hour. If it was slow, it took an hour. And if I did it fast, it was 30 minutes. And then the distance that I had to bike to do that, and it helped a little bit to compare what I was doing otherwise to that because that gave me some sense and some direction in time. I still can like create a direction in time for myself, but it is more of an issue and when I'm doing things I tend to forget time quite easily. Even if I plan stuff to get on time for a train for example, to be there 10 or 15 minutes before the train leaves. Sometimes it might happen that I just miss that train even though I actually left home on the right time to catch it. I have no clue how that happens because usually I just walk there. But hey, next time better. It hasn't happened in a long time. And it happened more so when I lived near Amsterdam because everything goes and drives between four and six times per hour there. So if you miss one thing, you have to wait 10 to 15 minutes and then the next train comes or the next metro comes or the next bus. They, they go so often that it doesn't really matter. And I think that is where I got my a little bit more relaxed behavior from because where I live now the most buses and trains go two times per hour which is still more than in some other places of the world but it is also something to take into account more since if you miss it you have to wait for 30 minutes instead of 10. I also my third thing I'm, I have trouble with is discipline issues I actually have a pretty great skill at planning things, but um, sticking through with it until the end of the day, for example, is a bit of a trouble for me. But that has to do with point four, which people are known for when they have ADHD or one of the things, is, and that is the standard ooh, butterfly. In other words, you're easily distracted. That also goes with the concentration issues because you just cannot filter out everything you need to filter out. So 
I already mentioned the hyper focusing and it sounds awesome, you know, getting in the zone, totally focusing on what you're doing and then it is almost impossible to distract an ADHD person if they are in hyper focus because they are so focused they filter out everything from the environment. Maybe the only thing that would get them out is like if something burn, burns and an alarm is beeping extremely hard to warn you that something's burning. Like it needs to be something extremely bad. Either you can't focus or have a lot of trouble focusing or you're focused so much on something that you don't notice anything or hardly anything in your environment at all. And with uh, this also comes a general ease to be understimulated, specifically intellectually. I need a challenge to stay engaged in something, whereas a lot of people don't like extremely challenging things that might be slightly too hard for them. If you give me studies that is not challenging enough, I get bored and I think it's easy. That is something that happened when I did my first studies in biomedical science. Theoretically, it was so easy for me that it, I got bored sometimes, like it is my field of interest, but it was just not challenging enough at all. At some points, except some things, but most of the things were not very challenging to me, even though a lot of people thought they were really difficult. But I think I'll keep it at this. So this is it for now. Thank you for watching. And on to or a keer the next episode of Neurons, of course.